Welcome to another stealth camp guys um, last night um, if you saw that video probably came out a week ago but last night um, I went uh, to a stealth camp in Clarksdale Mississippi that was unplanned uh, well I planned on doing one but I didn't know where um, so I just stopped in and it's by a cotton in the cotton field so in the cotton field uh, this one here is another one uh, it's gonna be probably in Holland Mississippi uh, I'm not sure what is around there but I look for a Walmart or a hotel to park at so my car is less likely to get broken into uh, so I did see didn't see a Walmart any along this whole trip from uh, where I'm at Cleveland Mississippi so I, I didn't see a, a Walmart from here to there. So I saw a hotel 40 miles away in Holland, Mississippi. So once I get there, we'll see what's gonna happen. Um, I do need to pick up a bell pepper um, and a couple other items I was gonna pick up at a Walmart, but apparently there's no Walmart. It must be country country. So we'll see, but um, I'm gonna cook something tonight. Chef cooking, hopefully. Uh, if I find a spot good enough where I can chef camp, uh, then I'll do that. So after the intro, I'll see you wherever I'm going to be at. I don't, I don't know. GoPro stop recording. just uh, pulled in um, that's what I said uh, the hotel is not really a hotel that I'm thinking like a regular hotel it is pretty much a couple bedroom house kind of thing so I'm not gonna be able to park my car there because they're gonna know that this car is not registered at that location um, I'm going to have to park somewhere close, uh, but this place here, I see something right in the back that I could probably camp out back there. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and park my car. Uh, somewhere not as obvious. I'm gonna walk back over here and check this spot out. Go post stop recording. Yeah, I got off the car. Um, visiting hours says two to four p.m., seven to nine p.m. Uh, I'm not sure what this place used to be, but uh, this is the little little nook that that I saw uh, just from the street. I think the tires are going to be in my way. I might move those out a little bit, but I think I can camp right in there. So I am having really good luck with this stealth camping. This is the first spot. Um, the only thing I need to do is figure out where I'm going to park my car. So uh, I don't know. I need to go find a bell pepper. I really don't need a bell pepper. I need some tortillas or some bread because I like to have uh, bread and uh, something with my meal just to fill me up a little bit for filler. Uh, but that's the, that's the agenda right now. Finding a, a, a spot for my car later, but uh, finding a couple other things to go with the food that I want to eat. So, see you back in a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's more than two or three rooms. Uh, I just passed by the place. It was so small that I, I passed by. That's what, whatever. But um, as you see, there's nobody there. Nobody at all. Um, I was thinking about going to the office to see if I pay them like five, five or ten dollars for parking um, to see if I can just park there and say somebody's coming to pick me up or, or something. Um, and or just saying I'm having car trouble that I don't want to drive my car too much that I'll, I'll come back and get it tomorrow uh, I don't know I gotta think of a good lie but that'll be the best spot right there um, there's another business close by which anybody in this town is gonna know that I'm not from around here if they see my car over there so uh, I might have to stop by a convenience store and get a $10 loaf of bread I don't see a store around here, so it's going to be a kitchen post uh, uh, trade in pelts. Maybe trade in pelts for, for bread. I don't know. Um, but before I, for, before I forget, I did look around. There's no there's no, no trespassing sign, so it doesn't say no trespassing. And I'm not going inside the building, so I'm justifying it as legal. It's legal, okay? whatever it is it's legal okay it is look it up don't don't do that okay let me find some bread or some tortillas go post stop recording go post stop recording You know I want to complain about prices. No, I'm not. I was. I was thinking about it the whole time in there, but 
the um, every employee was really nice um, so I do I do uh, thank them for that um, they didn't have a chip on their shoulder a brick on their shoulder a house on their shoulder um, everybody was nice and when I asked about some bread if they got specially bread because I'm gonna try to be fancy with some cooking here and there fancy to me is just buying some bread that I usually don't buy other than Aldi's white bread um, or wheat bread um, but uh, the store, uh, one of the, the, the meat department guys walked all the way over to the bread uh, department, which you're supposed to do that at stores. You're not supposed to just point like that. It's that way. You're supposed to, hey, I'll show you exactly where it's at and walk all the way over there to, to show, show up somebody because they might have questions once they get there. But uh, I really appreciate him for that. Uh, I did find some bread. Um, you'll have to figure it out when I get to where I got to go. I think what I'm going to do, it's only 4.30. I think another hour I am going to um, drop stuff off in the, the, the drop zone. At the drop zone, I'm going to drop it off in that nook. Uh, and then I'm going to go around to the hotel to see if I can park there and pay them $10 to park. Um, and just say my transmission is slipping. Um, I have a friend that's going to come over and get the car tomorrow. Give them my driver license number or whatever if they want that. And uh, hopefully that'll work. And then I'll just walk on, walk on off and say, hey, I'm pretty agitated. I'm going to do a little walking. And they're going to be here in about 30 minutes or so to pick me up. And uh, I got my life straight, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to it too. Uh, okay, let me go, and I will see you whenever whatever happens. Go pull stop recording. like this was like an old uh, nursing home uh, yeah it's around Halloween too and that looks a little Halloweeny um, I heard the creaking uh, from the uh, metal uh, ceiling uh, rails a little creepy it'll be really creepy at night um, but I'm gonna be pretty close I'm not going inside the building the, on the other side there is actually uh, windows busted out in another door so uh, they'll be sketchy going inside of a building like that um, just on the outside I'm going to say that's it's okay uh, but don't do this don't do what I do um, but going inside the building is definitely I know it's a no-no um, I'm looking around the whole building to make sure there's no no trespassing signs uh, and I do not see any Right, I'm gonna get away from here for another hour um, so I don't look suspicious uh, creeping around this building um, but about another hour I'm gonna say 530 I'll uh, I'll try to drop my car off over there and I'll be over here around six uh, the Sun's gonna set pretty quick I'm not sure what happened with this uh, but it shut off on me um, but I was just thinking it out. Um, it's actually 4:45 right now. I need to go back here and just drop my stuff off. Um, sorry, I can't do two things at once. Uh, I need to drop my stuff off now um, because it's only going to be like 30 minutes before I go over to the spot and see if I can drop my car off. If I can't, I'll just drop back over here and plan B it. Okay, so. Let's see what happens. Go post stop recording.
okay it is dropped off i'm gonna go go over yonder and uh go ahead and um see if i can do that now be back again and the hotel is right on the other side of that tree over there the building's right there actually you can see it GoPro stop recording. All right, I had a lot of Mike. Um, Mike is the night manager here at this uh, Cotton Country Inn. Uh, if you subscribe to the channel, Mike, I apologize that I, that I told you a fib. Fib sounds better than a lie. Um, still three letters, still a lie, but uh, it sounds better. But I'm sorry I told you a fib, uh, but thank you very much for letting me park there. Uh, I did give a twenty dollar bill to give me a change for a ten, just to give me ten back. He gave me two tens back, um, and uh, I guess just to make sure that I wasn't gonna give him ten, uh, so I did give him ten uh, again. So um, I did pay for the parking. Um, I thought that was really, uh, really something I should do uh, because there's no cars here. One just pulled in, uh, so I'm pretty sure they would have known that I wasn't. Um, here I told him my transmission slipping because those cars do have a CVT transmission um, and uh, it does slip uh, over time uh, but I did tell him uh, I got a friend coming to pick the car up in the morning um, he gets off at 8 in the morning I said hey I'll be gone by about 7 so the other manager will uh, not know the wiser unless they subscribe to the channel so let me uh, get over to uh, my spot of ground zero uh, Get it right, Brandon. If it's your catchphrase, get it right. Pop a squat to my wigwam, and it's windy, so talk to you in a little bit. Okay, here's my spot. There's an Amazon Prime truck right there. But I'm not going to cause them any problems. I did put my stuff right here. I put more than what I probably needed. Uh, but I'm going to get back in here and clear a spot off in that corner before anybody sees me. Okay, looks like an okay spot. Um, I brought my cot, so I'm gonna put my cot in here, but let me clear off a little spot here and uh, get my little uh, wigwam set up. Go post stop recording. change of plans I was gonna do my um, cot right here but I looked right over here this is perfect on the other side of this metal beam I can knock this down and it'll go perfect right there um, I'm gonna get those tires set them up right here as like a barricade so uh, nobody can see me back here as good um, maybe that trucker he might be coming back here to pee so hopefully he doesn't come this far back uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have those tires and barricade it right there. So once I'm in here, I'm in here. And uh, if they need to pee, they'll just pee right over there. If they and they won't see me, hopefully. They might hear me snoring. I'm gonna think I'm a bear.
I think this is like poison ivy or poison oak. It's poison something. Oh, a lot of it. Wind's picking up, it's, it's blowing some colder air in here, but it's only gonna be 58 about. Okay, bed set up, that's all there is to it. I don't even need to do my, my mattress. But who knows, I might as well while I'm out here, huh? But that is really comfortable. I did it in the uh, number three, Stealth Camp number three. That is a uh, uh, a really good cot. It's a Adoproc, Adoproc's the name. Probably saying it wrong, but uh, A-T-O-R-P-R, oh, A-T-O-R-P-O-K, Adoproc. Um, I'll get my uh, I'll get my sleeping pad and maybe put that on top. We'll see how it goes. Go post stop recording. Okay, I'm uh, setting up to go live. I've been hearing cars turn around here, up there. Hopefully they're not turning in to use the restroom right here or do something back here. Um, I do have all my clothes, all my clothes there that I'm gonna change into later, right there. I might put some, I was gonna put some shorts on right now and change the clothes just to relax, but with all this poison ivy, or poison oak, oak whatever this is, uh, I am not gonna change my, my pants into shorts uh i did get some uh, branches here the weeds uh, I, I, broke, I broke some off so when i'm done for the night i'm going to put a barricade right here of natural weeds it looks like it's just weeds so people won't go through it hopefully if they come back here to do whatever uh and other than that i'm about to go live for the garbage gang um and then i will show you around after i get done with that and then start cooking Good post stop recording. Oh, I'm gonna put this up right now. This camo, just for the heck of it.
probably I probably double it up. Uh oh, it already ripped. Jesus Christ. Well, no, it didn't. But just how thin it is. That's gonna have to do for now. Looks good to me. Um, further back, it's gonna look even better. That's what that's what she said. Go post stop recording. Okay, let me get all my stuff uh, prepared here while it's still daylight. Um, usually. On these stealth camps, I've been doing it at nighttime, so you can't see as good unless I turn the light on. Um, so I'm using uh, last night. Uh, okay. Hopefully that will work. Okay. And um, this is from last night. Uh, you probably saw it last week, uh, Stealth Camp number four. I cooked in here, but I, I rinsed it out. Uh, I'm gonna use this again. Uh, I have my handy dandy chef bag here. Uh, have a lot of stuff in here to cook with. I'm not gonna cook with all these pots and pans. I already have one pan here. I'm probably gonna just use one more pan. I have to use this large, uh, large one pound propane but i do have an adapter for this i've never used the adapter yet so hopefully the adapter will be just fine with this got my snacks in here my peanut butter cream pies i don't know where the adapter is it's gonna suck if i can't find it but I know I put it in here, so. I thought so, I'm, I'm kinda, kinda screwed if I don't have it, right? Oh, found it, okay. Yay, yay. But here's the adapter right here this one goes right into here hopefully there we go okay this one folds out like so and this goes right onto here okay okay that's good to go now it's just higher to fall off if it falls <laughs> falls off but I think it'll be sufficient okay and put this out the way for now do have different pots I'm going to use probably the biggest pot in here uh, so I can make sure all of it is going to uh, fit in after I'm done cooking Like the Russian, uh, Russian dolls, or whatever you call them. One fits inside each other. Got another one, got another kettle in there. But this should be good. 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and cook everything in this big pot here after everything is sauteed. Uh, and I got some new spoons and flatulas. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just go with, you know what, I'm gonna be fancy today. I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. Or maybe that, because I can maybe eat with this too because I'd rather eat with this than the metal utensil inside a metal pan. My mom yelled at me all throughout my years of never use the metal, scraping the metal pot. I got screamed at every single freaking day. And I'm only using one knife. I do have cutting board. Um, I got a meat and a veggie cutting board, but I'm not gonna mess both of them up for this because potato sauces, it, you know what? I am. I'm going to mess both of them up because I don't want people saying, and hey, you cut meat on a veggie cutting board. So, I'm going to do the veggie first. There you go. Now, I'll just shut up and, you know what? I'm not going to shut up because that ain't my style. I know people like to hear me talk. Putting everything back up that I'm not using because it bothers me if I don't. Got extra seasoning in here. Okay, the real stuff is over here. Okay. Okay, got my polar sausage, Cajun style smoked sausage. Cut that up later. I do have a bell pepper, one bell pepper. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a good count. I'm not a good count uh, impersonator. We got an onion, one onion. Um, it didn't call for bacon, but yes, crumbled bacon's going in this as well. Put that with the meat department. Um, I do have some minced garlic. I did buy a bigger one because I'm going to need some more for the house. Uh, we got Cajun seasoning. What is this without Cajun seasoning? I got Italian seasoning because it called for parsley and some bay leaves and crap so might as well just use that whole thing. Not the whole thing but some of that. Um, I do have a secret ingredient that's going in later. We got dark red kidney beans. One can of that. I should have got two but but I didn't because I am going to use this rice that 90 seconds just heated up. This is my camping kind of rice, so uh, I don't have to sit there all day and uh, heat rice up and waste a waste of gas. Okay, let's start with the onions and I hope I got some extra virgin olive oil in here somewhere which it's not in here uh-oh uh-oh like rain man uh-oh uh -oh. what is this so no extra virgin olive oil i'm going to make sure to put that in next time i think i can live without it guys uh i think i can Oh, it's going to suck, though. Jesus, folks, why would you let me forget that? Okay. Well. Okay. And I got bread. Specialty bread. Well, especially that they have at that store. They didn't have much of options. But to that store, that is special. Oh, here it is in my face. Yay! Look at this. This is my extra virgin olive oil. Put it in two bags just in case it does leak, but there you go. Nothing fancy. Okay. Let's start with the bell peppers. I'd rather have my bell pepper simmer down uh, and sauteed translucent more than my onions, so I'm gonna do this first. 
And all these scraps are going to go in a bag. Drop this a little bit. There you go. And I do not like uh, this part as much. It's a little bitter, <clears throat> like an X. So I am going to not put that in there. If I was starving to death though, I would definitely put that in there. But I have a couple pounds of muscle to spare, so I'm good. chop with a bigger knife <clears throat> excuse me so yes it is like I'm just kind of massacring this thing as she said hey it's all gonna get eight she said that too And the onion, I might do a half an onion. Okay, keep this for later. on this side you might see a little better action
You cut this all different ways that you want. Um, my mom always cut it on the biased. Uh, so uh, I guess I'll just do it like this. Makes it look more fancy and I guess bigger cooking area. I'm not sure why they do this, but please let me know if, if, you, if you know or if you think you know at all. See what I did there? I'm gonna wait to get the uh, the pan hot before I put this in here. And there's no bugs out right now that I'm. Uh, there might be as soon as I said something, but there's no none out right now. So I'm gonna leave this on the cutting board until I get everything else prepped. The baking go in last. The rice can go in last because it just needs to heat up for about 90 seconds. So. Put that over there with the poison ivy. Okay. Oh, this is hurting my... Okay. Now, I'm not going to put the, the garlic in yet. The garlic goes in uh, later on uh, because it'll get better like an ex-girlfriend. Uh, it'll burn and get bitter. So, don't want to do that. Okay, I think that is about all, unless I'm forgetting something, and I don't think I am. Oh, this chair is a little better. Oh, okay. Now, let's start with the fire. And this is where I'm going to shut up and just, uh, just cook, okay? So you're welcome.
going to eat a little bit um, and talk to you guys. But I did uh, pick up some of this. It's not Hawaiian bread, but it's sweet bread, kind of like that. I guess it's a knockoff. It's nature's own perfectly crafted brishy style butter rolls. Tasha don't like me saying brishy, but it's brioche. So I'm going to eat some of these with it. And uh, I'm going to eat a couple of these and then cut the camera off and then get back to you and answer the questions that you had uh, on the uh, community post of stealth number five. So, half now, half later. So I'll do the other half of bread later on after I answer your questions. Just let you know how good this is because I've made it so it has to be good, right? I'll be, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest what, what I should do differently or what I shouldn't do differently next time. Uh, I'll tell you what, on the rice though, I would have broke it up in the pack before I dumped it in here. It had been a lot easier. But so I, you saw me jabbing at it, what she said. Yeah. Get another bite here. Get another piece of meat. Let me put a piece of freaking rose brown in my leg. Just the right amount of heat. People that like Cajun probably want a little bit more spicy, but I do not. I need to sleep well tonight, and if it's more spicy, more acid reflux, it bothers me. It's not the best because it um, it has like the 90 second rice and stuff like that, but uh, it'll do, guys. It's freaking gourmet out here. This is the best Hollandale abandoned nursing home Cajun meal around, okay? Saw a place across the street called Southern Subs. Could have just went there to eat and not even cooked. Maybe on some stealth challenges I'll do that. So I won't have to cook. I can just go eat somewhere. a little bit more of this and then get back to you with some questions well some answers for your questions hopefully here and show you the um, the inside um, at night and uh, get a little bit of the traffic there is the Amazon Prime truck that's still there I'm not sure if somebody's sleeping in there or they're just doing a layover where they're parking it there and we got dropped off but I'm gonna wait for this big truck there to turn and then I'll keep I will keep uh, walking because once I get out there, they just think I'm just walking down the road.
Okay, let's walk uh, walk on over to this side and let me show you what I was talking about on the inside. It looks really creepy at night. Uh, but if a police officer comes now, they don't know where my wigwam's at. So I'm just uh, walking. I ain't going to say I'm a little overweight. I'm just trying to get some exercise. It's about 8 o'clock, 8.15-ish. Creepy, creepy. Okay. Lights off. Going back into my wigwam. Okay, um, I'm gonna get to the questions right now. Um, this is for number five, this stealth camping here. Um, the question is first, Jade Horn, ooh. Hom, Jade, the ho not the horn, Hom. Sorry about that again. Whoops. Cut, 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 cut. Jade, Hom, do they want to get out of the situation they are in now? Uh, I think you're referring to the Street Stealthers, the uh, Survival Season 3, which uh, those were the, the, the homeless. Mm -hmm. um, and this is actually... Uh, Stealth camping as in me camping and not trying to get caught. I think you got uh, confused on that one, but I do not I Do not want to get out of the situation. I'm in that's what she said Without a gun Ooh, without a knife to without something to her head can't even say all that because YouTube will freaking slap me Okay, uh, next Jerry Eat says how they ended up there do they still have any contact with their family what motivates them to keep going this um this is being this is going the wrong direction guys when i say stealth camping i mean me hiding out by abandoned nursing home creepily trying to uh, not get caught uh so jerry eats i'm sorry that is not for this series i think when i say street stealthers i think it got people confused so my apologies i just don't like to call people homeless because they don't have a home uh, it's like calling somebody carless because they don't have a car um josie says i wish i had one but i think i know all the reasons i will watch those so amazing to see you do what you do again i think this is for the homeless season three um i have to tell you guys if you see any videos already out they're a month old already they're already they're already videoed uh they're already scheduled uploaded and ready to go out uh, so the survival season three that happened on the 22nd through the 26th so that that's already over um this one's being filmed on October the 21st and it won't go out to probably end of November um, Janice says which has been your favorite event so far um, okay that is one I can answer the favorite one so far would be the rain drain that is uh, stealth camping number three uh, they all have its own adrenaline because trying to getting getting into the spot is kind of the hardest situation to try to figure out. But once you're in the spot, like this one is freaking amazing. That's what I said. <laughs> uh, I think the rain drain would probably be the best. It was like a natural, already ready to go. Um, 
there is a roof over here too so if it does rain I can kind of get closer to that edge there uh, but this is a really good spot too this is probably out of all of them this might be the second stealthiest the second uh, Leslie says I already know all about their stories from following people who do small acts of kindness exactly almost like you and others that have that give out people's mailing address to receive gifts um, again I'm sorry Leslie this has something to do with the season three I have to try to clear this up for everybody so everybody watching this stealth camping stealth camping that I'm doing that I'm asking questions for stealth camping is what I'm doing here uh, when I say street stealthers, I'm just saying that because homeless, you know, I don't want to say the word homeless like I keep saying homeless because I got to say it. But uh, people have that confused. Uh, so I do want to thank all you guys that did ask questions. Um, but Janice uh, Canfield wins the prize of knowing Yippee! the right question, I guess, for the right video. So, uh, thank you very much, everybody that tried to participate. Only one out of one, two, three, four, five. One out of five people. It's only 20% success rate. That is not good, folks. So, next time you see, you hear me say about number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten, that's stealth camping, what I'm doing right now. And yes, it is a little creepy out here, but just stop thinking about the creep, creepiness. Um, just watching movies and whatever happened in that abandoned nursing home happened. It already happened. Uh, there might be people that passed away in there. You believe in ghosts and stuff, then maybe they're in there. Maybe they're waiting for me to go to sleep. But um, I'm watching a movie and I'm going to go to sleep. They can bother me all they want. They better just not wake me up. Good morning, guys. It is 6 o'clock. Um, I slept pretty good. About to get some of this stuff tore down and do my, get my coffee in. Um, but... Had a really good sleep again. Um, that cot is comfortable already, but with that mat on it, it's really comfortable. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get, like I said, get some of the stuff tore down, get some coffee in, talk to you one last time, and then hit the road. Well, go get the car, come back over here, pick all that stuff up, and then go. Um, no. Okay. Oh. I was going to say something. I don't know. I'll, I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't know what else to, um, what else I was going to say. No acid reflux last night, so that was good. That was really good. Yeah, go poop. Just like GoPro. Okay, I have about everything packed up. Um, I'm ready to go. I got my trash. I uh, got my bags, my cot, and my yoga mat already ready to go. So I'm getting everything pretty much situated. And uh, all I need to do is my coffee. I even put my coffee, uh, my my chair up. So I'm going to sit on this beam. Probably not going to be the most comfortable, but it will do. Um, just get this going. I'm just going to do a little, a little cup of coffee, just one one pack here now, I did bring my sweet and low this time I did remember that so that's a good thing where my water's at and again I like to pour my water first instead of pouring it over putting it on top here then pouring it the weight gets distributed differently and maybe fall off
Okay, and this will heat up in probably probably like two or three minutes and be good to go. Um, I'm going to let you know about the movie last night. I watched a movie called Hill Walkers. H-I-L-L-W-A-L-K-E-R. Hill Walkers. Um, seven, and a half, seven and a half out of ten. It, it was okay. It was okay. I watched the movie all the way through. Um, so, uh, nothing, nothing fancy about it. Just about people trespassing on somebody's property and stuff gets real. Um, but, uh, you have to watch the movie if you want to watch it. It's, it's decent. It's decent. Uh, nothing to call home about. Hey, Mom. Oh, just call and let you know that uh, this movie was fantastic. A Hill Walker. No, I was just joking. It wasn't fantastic. I was just doing the video now, but I got to go. I got a coffee on. Um, I will talk to you later. Love you. And uh, other than that, I'm going to get this coffee and then I'm going to walk on over to get my car. If it ain't towed. Hopefully Mike uh, Mike took care of it. Um, he's in room 109, he said. And I'm parked right in front of that room. So that is a good thing there. Pretty sure if somebody comes up, he'll know. Because there's not anybody out there. But that one car that pulled up when I, when I was there. So. Talk to you then. Okay, I'm gonna say that's a successful uh, stove camp. Um, drinking my coffee on the way to get my car. Um, this uh, traffic never, uh, it slowed down, but it never stopped last night. This is a busy, busy road to get to the next town, apparently. Um, it didn't cause me any problems sleeping though. I slept pretty good. Uh, I guess they slept pretty good, or I never saw an Amazon Prime truck sit there that long. Um, has to be a problem with that truck or something because they would be hitting the road by now. Truckers don't sit that long, especially Amazon, because they need to get the packages where they need to go. Uh, but hey, I don't work for them, so I don't really know. Just speculating. But uh, I would say I'm going to get my car, and then I will get videos of me uh, packing up. But this is going to be the end of this vlog of me talking. So you're welcome. Um, but thanks for watching this video. Please share the video uh, with your friends, family, even your boss. I really would, would appreciate it. Um, helps uh, the channel grow. So I do thank you again for people that do. People that don't, join the others, please. So till next time. All right, got everything out of there. If anybody pulls up now, I'm just rearranging my car. Nothing to see here. Please disperse. Nothing to see here, please. So, uh, talk to you later. Over and out. Peace out, Girl Scout. Whatever. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visit my website yet um, the, the address is www.doggarbagedisposalstore.com 
you can navigate through the top all these links right here um, there is actually a question and comment form if you have any questions or comments uh, fill that out and it'll go straight to my email at the very bottom there is a free newsletter just sign up for right here um, and you will get a weekly newsletter so uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel what are you waiting on hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos please comment i like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you so i do like to interact with you guys uh, please share the video with your friends family even your boss and have a great day unless you meet other plans